Hi Aries, welcome to your general love reading for February 2022. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And it is general, so it won't be everybody's situation. But of course you can always book a personal reading if you would like. All that information is in the description box. Alright, Aries, let's see what is going on for you in the first half of February. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed for general readings. All right, okay, so starting off the reading for the situation, we have the Six of Swords crossed by the Ace of Cups. Okay, interesting. Um, it's like you're trying, you or someone else is trying to heal from a connection here or trying to move away from a connection where there is still love, basically. That's the problem. It's like trying to leave something in the past, but in a way where it might not feel like it's working. And that's because there is so much love here. Let's see, for the recent past, we have the Four of Cups. Okay, so some disappointment for your energy. We have the Hermit as well as the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so Virgo energy. You're, I feel like you're learning a lot um, and you're trying to keep to yourself here. It's like you're, you're, I feel like you're working really hard to stay away from this, from this particular connection, but it's not easy for you. There is a part of you that's still kind of waiting to see where, where this might go. But for the most part, you're kind of keeping to yourself here. Let's see for the other person, we have the lovers as well as judgment. Okay, wow, big energies here. So this is Gemini also showing up, but of course it could be any sign. So this is a person who does hold a lot of love for you. It could be that they ha they're having to make a decision here. And what I'm seeing is that they are in that process of making a decision or some kind of a discernment possibly when it comes to love when it comes to this connection but it's like they're also having like this wake-up call that is helping to guide them in making this decision let's see what is coming up we have the star okay so I, I'm actually really liking your reading so far <laughs> um, this is healing this is um, following your intuition and being guided divinely towards Towards a wish fulfillment, basically. And the message for you is the Three of Swords. Okay, so there is also pain. There is pain and there is heartbreak during this, during this process of whatever is going on here. So let's actually clarify. And again, do remember that the rules can be reversed, even if you're cross-watching. All right, so let's see that Six of Swords with the Ace of Cups. All right, the Five of Cups, Temperance, and the Devil. Okay, so we also have Sagittarius as well as Capricorn showing up. Um, overall, just a lot of major arcana cards are showing up already. Yeah, okay, so it's like somebody is trying to leave this connection behind. Again, it's it's very difficult to do because there's pure love here, okay? And for that reason, it's creating not only a lot of sadness, a lot of grief, a sense of loss, but it's like with that devil, it's, it's not in alignment. It's not in alignment with um, how somebody is feeling here. I feel like with temperance being here, it's like somebody is either just waiting, possibly even um, procrastinating, trying to kind of keep a balance, but this balance that they're trying to keep, whether it's you or them, it's, it's not a healthy kind of a balance. It's more of this, okay, you know what? I don't want to have to face anything really, really difficult, so I'm just going to try to put this behind me. It's that kind of a balance. It's like going about it in the wrong way and it's actually creating a lot of grief and possibly also creating a lot of um, uncomfortable feelings and it's, it's, it's like it's keeping somebody in a vicious cycle. So I don't know if that's you or them. 
but that's what appears to be happening here. All right, let's see. I don't need to clarify the past. There's, I can see why there would be disappointment here. All right, with this Four of Cups, um, because something apparently didn't work out or somebody is being really passive and so there's just this sense of disappointment with the whole situation. Let's see the Hermit for your energy. All right, the Magician and the Page of Swords. Yeah, like I said, it feels like you're trying. You're really trying to um, manifest some kind of healing. I feel like you're really going within, in your own self, trying to really learn whatever it is that you were meant to learn. You may or may not be doing that consciously, but that's actually what's happening here. There's a lot of deep learning for you. Um, I actually feel like you're... It's what you're doing or what you're learning is seeing something from a different perspective. You're seeing something differently than how you were seeing it before. And that's actually manifesting in the way that you are behaving as well or in your attitude. And because of that, and this is actually really positive because of that, you're able to manifest things for you at least in a different way. Whether that be in the physical or whether that be in your, in your emotional state. But I actually feel like it's, um, it's kind of, it, it's like it's shifting the whole dynamic here. The situation, like in some way this is also affecting um, the other person that you're dealing with here. Let me see that Seven of Pentacles. Because it's like with that Seven of Pentacles being right after that, I feel like you're... Whatever it is that you're doing and healing your own self, and that's happening by you actually keeping, maintaining some sort of distance, okay? Even if there has been communication or if there has been some kind of interaction, which I do feel like for some of you there might have been, it's like you're still kind of keeping to yourself. You're still maintaining some kind of um, a detachment. And it's like because of that, that's actually planting a seed for something here. And whatever that something is, whether it's with this person or not, um, it's definitely leading to something that is going to be very, very fulfilling. And to be honest, I do feel like for a lot of you, it is this person. Um, okay, so let's see. Clarifying the Seven of Pentacles, we have Judgment showing up for you as well, and the Wheel of Fortune. Like I said, a lot of major arcana cards. So there's a lot of major energies here for you in February, Aries. Um, Again, pretty much in line with what I've said. It's like you're creating a shift. You're manifesting a shift in the dynamic here. It's, it's almost like your discernments and the way that you are shifting your perspective. It's planting a seed for the rest of this. And it's also creating that, um, that wake-up call or a discernment for the other person that you were involved with here. So let's see for them. Let's see the lover's card. <laughs> I love how you guys are mirroring each other. Because look at this. Um, you got judgment, right? As a clarifier, which was one of their main energies. And they got the hermit as a clarifier for one of your main energies. Or which is one of your main energies. Okay, so Virgo showing up again. Um, and we also have the lover showing up again, okay? So we have Gemini and Virgo showing up pretty strongly in this reading. Um, definitely having the hermit and the lover showing up twice in this reading. This is talking about some kind of um, a deeper learning within your own selves, like each of you learning individually, independently of each other about your own selves, but in some way it connects to this um, relationship or to this connection. Definitely a lot of love here. Definitely this person holds a lot of love for you. 
um, but again, it's like they're they're doing a lot of soul searching. <clears throat> they're learning a lot, especially when it comes to I'm seeing this lovers as as um, <clears throat> having to make some kind of a choice. I don't know if it's between you know you and another person or another situation or just if it's just concerning you, like some kind of a discernment that needs to be made. Um, or if it's not a discernment, it's like an acknowledgement that needs to be made within this connection. But there's definitely something here. And this person is learning whatever it is that they need to learn in order to make this discernment that needs to be made here. Let's see judgment. So we have two aces, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the Fool. Wow. Talk about new beginnings here. I mean, the Judgment card is also about um, like a resurrection. And then having both of these aces here, I mean, that's, that's a lot of truth. That's a lot of acknowledgement. That's a lot of wanting to bring something back, especially with the Ace of Wands. It's going to be some kind of a choice um, that's really reflective of happiness, fulfillment, love. And whatever that is, it's going to require a risk. A risk in a new direction. Um, new doors opening up here, new potential opening up. And it, it's coming with, um, from this major wake-up call, or some kind of, a, of an awakening here that has to do with love. But again, it's like a discernment has to be made and I don't know what that is because it's probably going to be different for all of you, but it's definitely having to do with seeing things in a different way, which I feel is something that you are also learning. All right, and it's showing up, I, I feel even here because it's like one of you or both of you are trying to avoid love. And I am getting that maybe one of you was influenced by the other. Like if the other was not making a decision that needed to be made, um, for example, then maybe you um, were also trying to move away from this connection and denying how you truly felt, right? Which is creating that devil's energy, creating that, that grief, that sadness. But then by changing that and just at least accepting how you feel or going deep within to find your your true emotions in some way it's shifting the whole dynamic here so yeah i mean it's happening on an energetic level at least but this does manifest into the physical as well and that's because your your attitude is is changing let's see the star for the near future moon so that's Pisces the page of cups and the nine of cups I'm telling you I mean the nine of cups and the star that's that's a wish fulfillment that is something that you really really want um, coming in here all right especially when in regards to love but it, with the moon being here it's it's hidden it's something you can't see it's like I said it's happening like on an energetic level first and I feel like that's why the moon is here. That's why you cannot see it. But this is also saying that it's also all about going within and bringing up anything that has been repressed. Bringing those hidden um, emotions or feelings to the surface. Yes, you can be in this hermit mode, like, um, you know, maintaining your distance, but at least be aware of how it is that, that you're feeling rather than keeping a distance while covering up how you're feeling from your own self. That's what I'm getting here. Okay, so let's see the Three of Swords as the message here for you. Ooh, look at this. Okay, so we have the Emperor, the Ace of Cups, and the Four of Wands. This is definitely a very strong connection. Um, whoever this is that you're dealing with. Okay, so if this is somebody who is like really, really toxic or uh, manipulative, I don't feel like this reading is 
is for your situation, okay? So the message here is that yes, there is pain, there is heartbreak through this, but that is what is creating these lessons. That is what is um, creating change. It's like this, there is pain that is involved, but look at this, you have the Emperor, the Ace of Cups, and the Four of Wands, as I said before. This is a lot of love, right? Remember, the Ace of Cups was also in the beginning of your reading, and it's showing up again. The Four of Wands is all about stability. It can even represent marriage. And for those of you who resonate with a twin soul um, type of a connection, well, this would be an indication of that as well. So what I'm getting here is that this pain will be overcome. You can overcome this pain. Just don't ignore it. Don't ignore it. Because um, I feel like that might have been happening in the past. This Four of Cups, which I didn't clarify in the past energy, could definitely be that ignoring of the true feelings here. At least, you know, maybe that happened temporarily. So acknowledging that it's it's actually affecting this whole connection in a very, very positive way, all right? Um, somebody's coming in here as this emperor, right? Really taking control. There's a lot of love, offering that cup of love as well as stability. But pain is part of the process until you until you get there. So, Aries, if this resonated, let's get a final oracle message for you. All right, and we have number 36, which the magic you seek is inside of you. Let it flow. And yeah, it is. The magic is inside of you. Allow yourself to see it and what's happening inside of you. It is working like magic affecting the rest of the situation as I've been saying all, all along. So let it flow. All right, Aries, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.